welcome back to my channel. Today we have November favorites. I accidentally missed last month because it just, October kind of got away with me because I had a lot of projects due in school. I had papers due, workbooks that has like 200 questions in it for each chapter and I had like four chapters due. So October got a little hectic at the end so I missed the chance to be able to film and upload my October favorites. So we're going to get into the November favorites and I'm hoping that for 2016 we will get through all of the favorites each month. Now to let you know I will be doing a December favorites in December and towards the end of December the beginning of January I will be doing for the first time my yearly favorites and the way that it is going to work is I'm going to try to narrow it down to one product for each category however if there are a few more there will be a few more but I will try to have a high-end and a drugstore pick for each category but that I don't know if I'll be able to do that because I'm not going to force a pick in either high-end or low-end so uh, but there will be more information on that as the time gets closer to that but for right now we're going to go on ahead and jump into my November favorites we are actually going to start out with Glam Glow so I got this um, it's a, it's a lip duo and you cannot buy these separate from each other you have to buy them as a duo and it comes with the fizzy lip the pout mud fizzy lip exfoliating treatment and the wet pout mud wet lip balm treatment now the duo is not my favorite um and i'll wait to show you the other half in like a little review or um a haul because i have not hauled this yet the part that is my favorite is the wet lip balm treatment and this is what this looks like and I actually saw um, Jaclyn Hill, of course, mention this on her Snapchat. And so I was at Sephora and Travis was letting me get a few things for an early Christmas. And so I was like, you know what? I really want to try that and see if it's as bomb as she says it is. And OMG, is it? I mean, this is what it looks like. And she uses it before bed, she said in her Snapchat. I use this all day, every day, and I've hardly even dipped into it because that's how long this lasts. I literally put this on after buying it, like as soon as we got out of the car. And it has like a little minty scent to it, and it kind of it does, but it doesn't tingle or hurt or anything like that. But I put this on when we bought it. Sephora was one of the first places we went. We went to a few more places. We went grocery shopping and then we took a two hour car drive home and this never left my lips when we got home this was still on there that is how excellent this is and i am loving this for the winter lips and stuff but an actual review of the both of them together especially once i tried this part will be coming to the channel the second item that i'm loving for the month of november is a bit pricey this is my dior forever um foundation with broad spectrum spf 25 and this is what the pump looks like i mean first off the packaging is just gorgeous it is so luxurious just the packaging by itself without factoring in the actual product now see the problem that i've been having is i have been foundation matched so many times at sephora and they give me each time they give me the same foundation shade but then I get home and if you watch my snapchats which I'll link down below um well I'll put my snapchat handle if you watch the problem was is that when you put it on my face my face is like you know like a super tan color I don't have anything in front of me that winds up being the shade that it is but this is super tan and then it goes like super pale and I wear short sleeve shirts, I wear tank tops because I live in South Carolina, and I am just not interested in using a whole bottle of foundation on my face, my neck, my chest, and my body because that's what it's going to take. Because um, due to the fact that I wear SPF, my body is the same shade as my face. I don't self tan, so I don't need to be a tanner shade. So they were matching me to NARS Santa Fe, which wound up being too just too much so finally I got someone who was like no you're pale girl you are pale so we took it we did and we did kudos to this girl in the Sephora and I believe it was Augusta let me check was it Augusta that I got this one in I think yeah Augusta so kudos to this girl because she swatched so many foundations on my face in different parts of my face until we found a perfect match in the Dior foundation and she tried all kinds of ranges and this wound up being my perfect 
foundation. This is the closest one to my skin, and I am in shade 010, which I believe is one of the lightest shades that they have. So I'm loving this because also um, about the actual why I'm loving the product itself is it's super light on my skin, but it gives me the coverage. That is Lila over here. She is upset. She cannot get to us because we're moving the room around. And so we have boxes right here full of makeup products and she cannot get to us. So she's very upset. So I apologize, but, um, it gives me the coverage I need while still being lightweight and it gives a good texture. Plus due to being a dry skin, if I powder, I mean, it looks, it looks bad if I powder my foundation and I do not have to do this with this product. It stays where it needs to stay. The third product that I am loving for the month of November are the White Barn Holiday Candle line. We actually got a couple of these um, when we went into Bath and Body Works. I think it was around our anniversary we went in and we picked these up and they, I believe they were two for 25 or something like whatever their sale is, two for 25, two for 22, something like that. So the first one, that, well we actually picked up flannel. That was like the whole reason we went was to pick up flannel because flannel smells just like Travis. I love it. He does not see it. I do. So I love me some flannel. So we got flannel, but he picked out silver pine and cedar. And so oh my God, does this smell like a freaking Christmas tree? We burn this and it goes throughout the entire house uh, to the point where my mother-in-law comes in and goes, don't you think that's a little strong? And we're like, but we also picked up Fireside, which is the comfort candle for the White Barn. And this smells just like a fire. I mean, seriously, it does. Um, this one here is a Bath and Body Works candle. And it is lit, but I cannot even really smell it right now. Like, the scent does not throw as far. But with these, I mean, whole house. We love these so much. We actually just picked up a... No, we didn't pick up. We were going to pick up a few more of these, but we wound up not doing it. But, because we just couldn't narrow down what we wanted. But we really are enjoying these, the White Barn Candles. The fourth item that I'm loving this month is the Marc Jacobs lipstick that came with my um, VIB Rouge. And it is called So Rouge. And it is just the little mini, but oh my god, I love this so much. It sits on my lips. It is very moisturizing. It stays put. It does not dry out. And the color pigmentation, that was one swipe. I mean, it is amazing. I love this. I not only want to buy this in a full size, but I want to buy more Marc Jacobs lipsticks because this is, this is amazing. I love this. It's awesome. And I'm loving for the month of November is this necklace that Travis got me as an anniversary slash early Christmas gift and he gave it to me so that I could show it off to all the people in my cosmetology class because it is cosmetology related. Um, it is handmade from a shop on Etsy which I will link down below. Um, on the front and there will be up close pictures of this on the blog but the front is a blow dryer and a pair of shears and it's a little charm and the next thing has my name on it spelled correctly and then the last little tab the silver one says beauty is my business and I love this I wear it every day that I go to school I have not been wearing it lately when we've been out and about because we actually got into a wreck on um, like a week or so ago and I happened to have left it at home that day and if I hadn't the way the seat belt kind of grabbed at my chest it actually would have torn that up so due to it being handmade if we're just going out and about I do not wear it because I do not want it to get messed up so but I am loving it it is amazing the quality is great and I love what it stands for so those are my November favorites I'm gonna link my uh, beauty favorites kind of playlist down below so you can check out my other beauty favorites and see what I've been loving throughout the year for the times that I did do it. Uh, make sure to follow me on the social media links down below. It is a little bit behind the scenes. This will go up after Vlogmas first air so I will link the intro to Vlogmas so make sure to check that out as well. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the favorites videos and until next time. Bye!